Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at Amazon. It is up more than 4%, which means I expect a gap and go. Now it's a very technical entry. As you can see, the first move is down, which is exactly what you look when you look for a gap and go. You look for the sellers to get out of the way and they just did. It moved down. Now it gives me a chance to move in once it starts to move higher. That's a technical formation. It's just a reversal, but you expect the buyers to win because it's a gap and go. It's likely to move higher. I'm, I'm, moving in right now clicking the button and I'm in with 600 shares so it was just a nice technical formation you expect the stock to continue moving higher because it's supposed to be a gap and go when the stock is gapping up that much you just expect it to continue higher now it did move higher as you can see but now it's failing so you don't really know exactly where it's going to come down and I'm down like 10 grand right now my stop loss is under the lows. Notice the lows here. It says 2879.56 and it just was very, very close to the lows. And in fact, it continues to come down and it's touching just 50 cents over the lows. And that was my stop loss. And I was down almost 13 grand at that point, which is a big losing trade, but it did not get there. And now, it is in fact proving to me that it wants to continue higher now stocks are volatile you never know where they're gonna hit you and take you out of the game but now look at what happens it starts moving higher and i'm about to add another 200 shares and i'm adding right now because at this point it proved to me that it is it has rejected the lows now when you have a trade that is going your way and at some point, I mean, it went the wrong way, of course, but then it bounced from the lows. It looked like it's rejecting the lows and you get a proof that you were really right to start with. Then if you are right, if you get to that point where you see the stock really going your way, you should add. You should add to the trade. You should add to a trade. You should add to a winning trade. You never add to a losing trade. You never added the lows. Now it's moving higher and I want to add one small because now it's a beautiful technical formation for a long. Beautiful. Adding now another 200 shares. I did not plan, plan this up front. I had no idea it's going to happen. I was just waiting for a reversal and a move up and it just happened a little bit later. Now I'm up $15,000. Look at the numbers here, which is amazing. $17,000, $21,000 and it's still going. It's just broke out over the highs. $29,000, $30,000 getting to the point where I think it's going to bounce back down and I'm taking a partial here selling 800 shares right now, leaving just 200 shares. That was an amazing trade. Now what I do want you to take home from this video is not about the you know, the, the initial gap and go, of course. I mean, you, you, if you follow my videos, you could see me trading lots of gap and goes. Gap and go short, I prefer than gap and go long. But in this case, it's a gap and go long. And again, a very technical formation. You just look for the reversal. I'm not going to get into this. But what I do want you to remember from this trade is the fact that I added to a winning trade. Again, you never add to a losing trade. You never average down your loss. You never do that. You add to a winning trade once it, you know, it looked like it was about to be a loser. It was very close to be taking me out with a $13,000 loss. But once it proved to me that it wants to continue higher, this proof that I had was the point where I should have added. Now it's the same like playing, I don't know, blackjack. If you get 11 and the dealer gets six, you just double down, right? It's the same in stocks. When you have an advantage, you need to use this advantage. If you do not use the advantages that you have sometimes in some, it, it doesn't happen very often. Just sometimes when you really have a proof, like in this time, you know, we saw it was rejecting the load, moving higher, and then beautiful technical formation, and again, proving to you it wants to continue higher. I added twice. That's why I have a huge winner. This huge, these huge winners are are the ones that are going to make you a better trader, you know, get you to the point where you really succeed as a trader, not just having a nice day, having a perfect and amazing day. Now, look at my end result here. It's not my only winning trade. As you can see, I've got uh, Tesla and other stocks uh, as winners. I do have some losers as well, but it is a perfect day. And of course, my main trade was the one that I added to which is Amazon. If you like this video, please give me a like. It helps this channel and helps more people like you learn more about day trading. And if you do want to subscribe to this channel, 
then you have this subscribe button here and you can hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. Now, please remember, you have seen me making a lot of money today. I do have my losing days. And in fact, trading is extremely hard and extremely risky. I am a very experienced trader. I am trading for 22 years. So really, my results are very not typical. Most traders lose money when they start. That's why you should start with a demo. There's plenty of links right here below. Also to a demo of the Colmex account, same platform I'm trading here. So you can go and just sign up and start trading with a demo account. Better do that and do not risk your whole own hard earned money. and Never lose more money than you can afford to lose. Uh, believe me, it's a good advice. Just uh, don't take trading as if it was easy. It is not. It is a very hard occupation. So I want to thank you again for this video. Look at the links below. Some of them are for my trading room. If you want to join me in my live trading room for a free 14 day trial, I do post all my picks live at my trading room, sharing my screen, sharing my PNL each and every day. You are very welcome to join. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.